So we're going to show you how to brush a cat. There's lots of different brushes on the market, so that can be one of the hardest things to figure out is what brush is going to work for my cat. Unfortunately, there is no one size fits all um, because not all cats will tolerate all kinds of brushes, but there are a few do's and don'ts. Don't would be anything harsh like this. It's not suitable for a cat. These are brushes that are going to basically strip out the undercoat of a long, thick haired dog. So not suitable for a cat. We don't get cats that, that need these brushes um, and they're potentially going to cause some trauma to their skin. They've got quite thin skin that um, will be damaged quite easily by something like this. So this is a don't, big red cross. Ones like this um, are generally a pretty safe bet. Um, this is quite a small version, it's quite lightweight. There are some bigger ones too. Um, but generally, this feels a bit like a massage for a cat. It'll get through those top layers of fur quite nicely. It's not gonna pull out too much fur, um, but it's gonna gently brush through and prevent some of the knots. A long-haired cat is gonna need regular brushing. So you can see here that our cat um, Tofu is really tolerating this nicely. It's probably just a bit of a massage for her. She can sit on my lap or next to me on the sofa and I can just gently work my way through her coat and this will help to prevent her getting matted. Something like this is a bit of a gentler version. Um, it's probably not gonna work through too many knots, um, but it's certainly gonna remove some of that loose fur. So this is a great one because it's rubber based here. It's gonna feel again a bit like a massage for her. So some cats will absolutely love this. You'll get that big, deep rumbling purr that we all love. The rubber is gonna stick to that fur and you can see how much of that fur she's shedding is coming out. So this is great at shedding season. So we tend to have two sheds a year. We'll have one just before summer when they're getting rid of that thick winter coat, but we'll also have one coming into the winter as well um, when we're getting rid of that summer coat. So at those times a year when you're seeing all of this loose fur coming off here and there and everywhere, this will help to just protect your furniture and your clothes, um, but also stop that getting matted in their coat on the way out. Finally, here we have um, a Ferminator. So this is a pretty unique grooming tool or brush because it's got clipper blades as well as the brush blades. So the brush comb here will brush through those knots, but then anything that's starting to get matted, it will actually clip away. So it causes less trauma. I still wouldn't use it if we've got really deep rooted mats in the coat. At that stage, you probably need to get those clipped out by a professional using mechanical clippers. Again, for very light mats um, or for those deep, thick coated cats, this helps to get that little bit deeper and we can see how much that's getting out um, of her coat and leaving us with a really nice glossy finish. Again, they often will quite like this, but it is a metal, metal um, comb rather than plastic or rubber. So it is a little bit harsher. I'd be a bit gentler with this one when we're using it, just to make sure we're not aggravating the cat. Particularly if they're a bit bonier, then we need to be quite gentle to avoid bruising them or making them uncomfortable. Sometimes it's a bit of trial and error, so we have to play around with a few different brushes um, to be able to get one that our cat enjoys um, and also does the job that we want, but hopefully that gives you a little bit of an overview of what we're looking for um, in what circumstance um, so that you can direct what brush you get based on that.